All right, today is paint day. So we are, yesterday we primed the hull. We've got all the body work, everything done on it. Got the hull in prime. Uh, everything's taped off. And today we actually get to apply some color. This is our color that we're putting on. This is PPG Essentials paint, single stage. And I'll walk you through the process of what we're gonna do. Important thing is here on the PPG paint, as you'll see right here on the side, it's a six to one to one mixture. That means six parts of paint to one part of this to one part of this. And basically it's a hardener. And once you get that all done, you mix it up really good and then uh, spray it out. So when we get ready to spray it out, we'll get back with you. Right, what I was gonna do is just go ahead and go over these mixture cups. Like, here's a standard mixture cup. What you wanna do is on the top of them, you find the six to one to one ratio. That's a six, doesn't it? Five, six, yes, yeah, six to one to one. So the first number in that column Let's say we're gonna go with six ounces of paint. Then we move over to the next column. We find our next six. So that's where we pour our hardener up to. And then the next six is where we pour our next mixture up to. You mix it all up and then you're ready to spray. done we've done two coats run it all the way through we don't have any runs on it at all so that's a positive uh, let's you look at the shine right here on this it's still flashing out and but so far pretty pleased with the outcome and the intentions are to do the hard top the same color to bring it all together hopefully our tape lines are all good and straight let's get done here's the back All right, so now that we've got the boat painted, um, we gotta come back and do a couple extra things. Uh, I missed this step in showing you guys how to do this. Uh, the majority of the boat that you're gonna see has already been wet sanded and going through all the steps to bring out the shine in the boat. Uh, it's all been done. Now, where I can show you is right here where these pads went, I still have a dull finish. So, what I'm going to do now is show you once you get done with that initial two coats of paint, um, we got to go back and do some wet sanding. So you're going to need a few things for this. Uh, I'll show you my tool list right here. So you need a bucket of water, a clean rag, that clean water is very important. Then we're going to go through a series of sandpaper. We're going to start out at 600 grit sandpaper. 
Then we're gonna sand that down. Once we get that done, we're gonna keep the surface wet the whole time. So it's good to keep it all, all the surface area wet the whole time. You wanna make sure it's good and wet on there. Otherwise, you can burn through your paint. Now, so keep that surface wet. You have a good spray bottle to spray. Once we get done sanding that 600, then we're gonna to move to 1,000. And once we get done with 1,000, we're gonna to move to 1,500. And then we're finally gonna finish off at 2,000. I'm gonna run you through the process real quick. This sanding is not sanding to sand all the paint off. What you want to do is get all the rough area off. So it's only gonna take a few seconds to sand it down. Uh, once you feel that it goes on very smooth and it's sanding smoothly, stop and move, you know, clean that surface area and move on to the next uh, grid of paper. So now that we have our wet sanding done, and we'll go over it again, what we did was six, start out with 600 paper, then we're gonna go to 1,000, then we're gonna go to 1,500, and we'll go to 2,000. So that is my sanding regimen. Make sure you keep the surface wet the whole time. Uh, you should never be sanding on the dry surface. Make sure the whole thing is wet all the time. Once you've cleaned all that excess sand uh, or paint off that you uh, wet sanded, then we're gonna go into the next phase of it. So that's the polishing phase to bring out the shine. Now on this boat, we have the outside, everything you're gonna see, polished to mirror shine. Underneath of the boat, I'm kind of getting lazy. I don't need to go that far with it. Uh, but how I got all this that shiny, I don't know if you can see, you can pretty much see your reflection on the boat. Um, is I This is just Meguiar's that I use. Um, I started out with an Ultra Cut 105. Uh, you can get this at like Harbor Freight or uh, any auto parts store. But um, use the Ultra Cut compound. And that is, I put it on with a buffer. And what you do with this is you just put it on, get you a clean buffing bag, make sure everything's good on it, there's no dirt. And you'll lay this on top of it. Squirt enough out, smooth it into your surface, and then you can start buffing it out. Um, what I'm doing to the bottom of the boat, like I said, since you really can't see it that much, is I'm just going to use uh, the next one, which is the um, Ultra Finish Polish, which is the 205 in the Meguiar's. And I'm just going to put that on by hand, and then I'm going to use the buffer to buff it off. And uh, I'll show you the end result with that. After that, you would want to put the mirror glaze on it. So this is the number seven Meguiar's mirror glaze. Um, you can put that on there. And then after you finish up with this, you would put a coat of wax on it. So that's what you would do with the entire boat from wet sanding to, to get the polish out with the gel coat. All right, so now we have a finished product. We've wet sanded it. And like I said, on the bottom, we just used that polish one time, buffed it out, and that's our finish. It's a pretty good finish. It's not mirror like this, but you know what? Bottom of the boat, it's all even, all the no orange peels left on it, and we're good to go. So that closes out basically how we're going to uh, finish out our paint. Um, with, this, with all the sanding, wet sanding, and then back up to the polishing. Remember, once you get all the polishing done, you're gonna go back and seal it with a coat of wax. Uh, Woody's wax, whatever you, marine grade wax you would like to use, um, usually works perfect for it. So <clears throat> this is our last part of painting. Uh, this morning we decided to sand this top down, sand the gel coat, rough it up. It's like we did on the underside of the boat. Uh, sanded everything down, knocked the gloss off of it. And then uh, we did that with 220 paper. And uh, there's angles and curves and stuff you can't really get to, so you gotta do a lot of hand sanding. Um, cleaned everything off with acetone, got all that dust and everything out of there, make sure it's perfectly clean taped everything off where we got nice sharp edges. Uh, everything underneath that we want to keep the white gel coat is protected. And 
Um, we mixed the uh, primer, PPG primer, and then we uh, sprayed the thing out, two coats of that primer. And this is our first coat of this paint that's going down. Um, we got one more coat. We're gonna leave, let this flash for about 45 minutes, and then we're gonna mix up some more paint and hit it one more coat, and then we are finished up with the paint. Uh, well, then we'll look at it, see how much, uh, how it looks, how the finish looks, and how much we want to go into it. Do we want to get in the sanding like we've been doing, or do we just want to let it ride like this? So, um, you never know until you get done with it. Like I said, I'm no expert. I'm just now starting to do this stuff, so I'm giving it my best shot. I'm sure there's lots of guys out there going to pick me apart, but it's the only way I know how to do it. Uh, I am drinking the Gatorade. I'm not sponsored in any way by them. They don't give me a dime, so buy it or not, I don't really care. Alright, we'll get back with you on the second coat. <clears throat> Alright, so while that's kicking off over there, we just figured we'd come over here. I got the boat actually out in the sunlight and all, back on the trailer as you can see. It took us a few hours to do that. I really wish I would have taped that to show us how Chemical gets it sometimes. So what I've done with this boat is uh, we had some areas last time to where it would hit up against here on the fenders and it would mess up underneath the boat. So, of course, all that energy and effort I put into the boat, I don't want to take a chance of jacking the underneath up again. So, we lifted the boat up another inch and a half, um, put new fenders on it, and we put, you know, put them at all level and perfect across there so we can't you know, have that issue anymore. Um, as you can see, we got the pin striping done. This whole thing's been buffed out and uh, wet sanded and buffed out, so you'd probably have a better shot over on the sunny side, but you can pretty much see yourself in this whole boat right now. Um, the top of it's still dirty, so from here up it's dirty as anything. It's been sitting under construction for a while. Uh, plan is for to finish up that top, clean up the inside just a little bit, and then uh, I'm gonna probably go ahead and buff out that console get everything right on that and then we're taking it to the guy that's gonna put the pipe work together for the t-top uh, I'm gonna also take the hard top over and he's hopefully gonna assemble all that and all I have to do is wire it all up um, so like I said it's just sitting on the trailer right now we have this nose piece so we still got to finish up I think it's pretty much done except for one final sanding a little more better shaping here on the edges and then we're gonna gel coat it and bring all that back out and then I'll put the I'll put this back on the rub rail. Uh, but otherwise you can see it's coming together. My dive platform is all powder coated white. Uh, it'll be at, probably back in Wednesday or Thursday this week. And um, Probably put that back on and we'll be set. So just give you a little glimpse. We're almost there. Probably about at the 50% mark right now where we're what we have left to do. So we're trying to get this finished up. I'd like to have it done by June 1st, which is when we start scalloping and uh, grouper. grouper fishing. So I think was it scalloped to July 1st. July 1st is good. So we get over there and start grouper fishing about June 1st. So I want to have uh, probably about another month, month and a half. I need to have this done. Go. 